Welcome back everyone, it's Stephanie from Glitterful. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're looking to learn fun and easy glitter tumbler designs and DIY crafts, start today by subscribing to my channel below. Become that Glitterholic and click that notification bell to always know when I upload. Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna do a very cool, fun design. Um, we are going to do a, I'm gonna call it a multicolor leopard print. All right, so the colors, well, let's start off with what I'm using. I'm going to be using a 32-ounce um, water bottle that I purchased off of mothertumbler.com, um, and I'll have that link below in the description. Um, I'm going to be using Mod Podge, a series of three different brushes. I'm going to be using the foam brush to apply my Mod Podge, and these two brushes because I'm going to need one very thin to kind of make the prints and something to lay it on. So um, two, two smaller brushes. I'm going to be using Caesars Palace from our Glitterful collection. Take a look at this gorgeousness. Uh, I'm going to be using Huntress February, which is our Gigi custom mix from our Birthstone collection, and Rebecca. Now, Rebecca Huntress and Caesar Palace are all GG Originals. Um, so these are all custom mixes from our collection. All right, I'm all, I also have paper nearby so that I can capture my glitter. So let me clean this off. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Mod Podge and I'm just gonna drizzle a bunch here so that I can use my phone brush and I'm gonna guide this around. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my glitter and I'm gonna start with Caesars Palace because this is going to be my dominant forefront. This is where um, I'm gonna make most of my design. So I need this to be more dominant and so I'm starting to lay this down and I want this to be pretty nice size, a pretty nice size uh, area. So I'm gonna lay it in a diagonal as well because this design I want it to be diagonally now you can choose to make that differently but i like how it looks when it's in an in an angle okay and like i said this is going to be its main forefront so it's going to have more of a pull so you take a look at that okay it's going to have when i say more of a pull i mean more of a dominant forefront how cute is that all right perfect so let me move this to the side. The next color I'm going to start, I'm going to go with is Huntress. Take a look. And I am making sure that I'm getting close to that edge. I don't want it exactly on my Caesars Palace. I just want a nice lay, okay, across so that it will... It will ombre itself together. It will kind of intertwine as best as it can, okay? And take a look right here. These are some areas that are going to need some extra um, adhesive. Now you're going to continue your glitter pattern until you've reached the starting point of your design. All right, guys. So as you can see, my... My Mod Podge dried up so quickly, um, and that's okay. It happens sometimes, especially when you are doing multiple colors because you're trying to gather, you're creating a design. Um, what I'm going to use is the Mod Podge clear, clear Acrylic Sealer as my next form of sealant, and I'm gonna spray this all around the cup. Once you went ahead and added your adhesive, whether what it is, whatever you use, Loxotype, whatever it is that you use, I chose to use the Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealant. I'm just gonna go back into the areas that I have very, very light coverage. Now notice that I am starting with my darker colors first this time. Um, and it is because I wanna make sure that I have a very nice blend and I have all the coverage I need to have. Okay, so I'm starting with those areas first, making sure that I have coverage in every place. And if I don't, I'll add a little bit of 
more adhesive. Once again, continue your glitter pattern until you've met the beginning of your design. All right, guys, so there you have it. So I used Mod Podge at first. Um, it dried extremely quickly. So what I ended up using was a clear acrylic um, sealant from Mod Podge as well to, um, to fix those areas to get them fully coated. Uh, so you can use any type of spray that you want. Um, you can also use the epoxy method for this. Like I said, for tutorial purposes, I chose to do it like this because I want to show you what this is gonna look like with our next step. All right guys, so <clears throat> once you have been able to gather all your things, it's dry um, to the touch, we're gonna go ahead and start our cheetah prints. So, our leopard prints, excuse me. So I'm gonna start off with February being the spots, and then Rebecca, which is the darkest of the purples, be the outer layers. Um, I'm going to be using a combination of these two brushes, um, which I'm gonna clean off. And yeah, so let's start um i'm gonna start with um an outer just a, a a spot okay um you're adding a droplet of glue and then you're very gently just making it kind of an oval shape it doesn't have to be perfect it can be a little haphazard Lee, it doesn't, again, doesn't need to be perfect. Before your glue dries out, um, I do suggest to go ahead and add your glitter into that area, okay? Just therefore your glue doesn't dry out, okay? Gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead into another layer, another spot, and I'm gonna do two with you guys and then, um, I'm not gonna put you through the torture of watching me put on spots. Okay, so again, I'm just doing this, um, an area, a spot that I'm just happy with around, <clears throat> nothing crazy. Once you've completed adding your spots, you're gonna wanna do some bands around the spots. Not all bands need to be completely covering the spots. You could do half, half bands, side bands. Um, it is completely up to you. You can also reference a um, leopard design on Google just to kind of see how some of those bands lay. Take a look guys all right so let's say your life stuff but there's some bare spots so again with the cheetah print it's really cool because you don't need so many um so many places where there is a print so for example like it looks a little bare there we're just gonna do this we're gonna create a small little spot and maybe one right about there something really tiny <clears throat> Oops. 
take a look guys so you can add that and and kind of bring it all together and i think i'm actually pretty happy with the amount of spots i might have might add one more up here just to kind of you know give it my last little spot there and just grab it with my hand see guys and then so now I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go ahead, once this is fully dried, I'm going to give it at least 30 to 40 minutes to completely dry. And then I'm going to go outside and put um, Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Spray. I'm going to spray this down four times, about five to 10 minutes in between each spray. And then I'm going to let this sit for t another 30 to 40 minutes before applying epoxy. So we'll be back. Okay guys, so I sound a little muffled because I have my mask on, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the epoxy. Okay guys, so we're ready to do our second coat, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. We are going to separate, I separated about 2.5 mLs of the epoxy that I whipped up. Um, and I'm going to add a couple of droplets of the, of white alcohol ink. This one's Tim Holtz, the Mixative Snowcap. Just about a couple drops in there. And I'm gonna whip this up to make sure that it's fully, um, that it is fully mixed in well with the epoxy, okay? Um, so you're going to go ahead, follow along with me, and apply apply your epoxy onto the cup, and then we'll be right back for this following step. Once you went ahead and added your second coat of epoxy, you're going to grab a popsicle stick. I'm using my metal stir stick. And I'm going to wait until um, the, the um, gold part turns around and I'm going to be adding some white to the, sec to the purple sector so that I can have this really awesome blend. And I don't want it on the white, um, the gold. I just want it on the purple so that I can have some kind of... Uh, like Milky Way kind of effect happening. Uh, I don't need a lot. You just want enough just to kind of create those waves and these, this is not dripping, it's harding up. So you can move this around with some heat or you can kind of let it do its own thing and it will and just let it spin around guys. So we'll be back uh, to show you what, what's up next. Um, all right, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so once your second layer has already spun, um, it should be soft enough to go ahead and start adding your decals. I do have some spots that maybe just need a, a quick sand. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is take my sanding block and just give this a very light sand so if anything is sticking up, it's gonna smooth out. So take a look at how gorgeous this is. Probably should have showed you guys. So now the waves, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the waves. I'm not sure if I did already. Um, so I decided to kind of put the Milky Way technique uh, for this cup. That is completely optional. I just wanted to create, give it some more depth. How cute is that? And um, so you could do that or you don't have to. It's completely optional. Uh, don't forget to wipe down your cup after you sand with um, a rag and some 91% isopropyl alcohol. Okay, And I don't want to take away from the design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over. Um, I found this really cute run, craft, sleep, and repeat um, decal. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the purple 
not taking away from, again, not taking away from the leopard because I really like that design and I really want that to be the focal point of the cup, okay? All right, I already had these. Again, I found this on my design space uh, on my Cricut. Hey guys, all right, so here you have it, my finished design. I decided to put my vinyl pieces on the purple portions uh, just so therefore I wouldn't take away from this gorgeousness of a design. Um, again, the Milky Way part of it where I added the alcohol links just to kind of give it more, just some fun stuff to it was an additive extra. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, but um, this is just a fun design to put together and you could be as creative as you wanna be um, and add the different colors. Uh, so if you guys watched me this far, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel. Remember uh, to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. We do have a Facebook group group called Glitter Tumblr Epoxy Hacks Beginners to Advance. If there's anything you guys want to see um, or have questions on, just let me know in the comments below. You guys all have a glitterful day. Bye.